ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Minecraft players of all ages, welcome back to the realm of forever bedrock. We have a lot of work to do today. We are going to work on our horror labyrinth. We are going to try and get as much of it done as we can. If you're not following me on Twitch, then you might want to do so. Twitch.tv slash Juggerite. We stream on Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And occasionally we have some short no commentary streams. Or with commentary uh, throughout the week and other time frames. Uh, just to try and give you guys a little bit of extra footage for the projects that we're working on and whatnot. But we have a lot of work to do over here. And we're going to try and get this thing squared away. And give you a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit more of an in-depth explanation as to how it's going to work once uh, everybody on the realm gets in there and gets to uh, um, trying to pass this thing, basically. And here we are at the mouth of this gigantic opening of the cave here. Uh, this is where, if you remember correctly, we put a sign down saying Horror Labyrinth coming soon. We are basically going to close this whole thing off and we are going to make this the basically the entrance into the horror labyrinth where the game will be played. And we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming to help make it look a little more natural. There's a lot of flat spots and stuff like that even though we haven't done any mining yet. Um, we want everything to look a little more natural than it does. And I think the best way to do that... Um, as I said, we're going to go all the way across the front here from this side all the way over to the other side. And I think the best way to do it is going to be to go into a time lapse and get it done. Um, obviously, we're going to work on this over the course of a couple of streams. But it ought to make a nice little time lapse for you guys. And then we'll go over how everything works for what we have so far. But before we do that, somebody, and I don't want to give false credit... Um, has been doing an amazing job with these roads and everything. Um, as soon as I find out for sure who did this, um, we'll get proper credit. But we can tie into that road there or possibly off of this portal here. I'll see what the uh, recommendation is from whoever's got this project going on. And then we'll basically have our road come right down here to the entrance. And it ought to be pretty easy for everybody to get to at that point, uh, whether you have wings or not. If you're just, you know, walking around the gaming district or whatever, it should be fairly easy to find uh, your first time coming over. And then, of course, no trouble finding it after that. Don't mind the uh, floating chicken, but uh, this is what we've got. We come down here. Uh, mind you, nothing out here has been done. And while I was working on this, um, yeah, I, I came out for resources at one point and that was there. But uh, we come in here and this is completely spawn proof. We have just enough lighting in the few spots where mobs can spawn the rest of these are lower slabs and this will be where you can redeem your points for prizes um there will be a you know scoreboard log so you know there will be like a total score but your cumulative amount of points you can spend them you know as you get them or however you want and we'll go more into detail on the rewards later. But then when you uh, set your spawn <laughs> and drop off your stuff, uh, we even have an inner chest just in case, you know, somebody needs to access that. 
but you can enter the labyrinth and um, kind of uh, try and make your way around some spots are a little darker than others and uh, that's uh, you know how this goes once you clear the main room you will be presented with some choices or the members of the realm will be and there's an easy mode a hard mode um, easy mode will be worth one point hard mode will be worth two points and then there will be the uh, nightmare mode which will be worth three points and um, again they can run these things as many times as they want and if you know any of these are too hard there's always the easy mode that they can run and accumulate points uh, that way uh, for those who like a little bit more of a challenge the hard mode will probably be you know I imagine the hard mode will probably be the one most ran just to, you get double the points and it you know it's only a little bit harder than that one there um, I'm not sure um, how easy or how often the nightmare mode will be completed but you have to actually complete the labyrinth in each area in order to accumulate those points so say I choose nightmare mode and I go into nightmare mode labyrinth if I don't complete it and I end up back at the uh, bed then I get no points um, but uh, once you complete it you get your points as long as uh, the whole thing is um, and he's a uh, the only requirement I think I'm gonna have to make is uh, I mean it's gonna be like an honor system thing or whatever and I mean this is something that I you can't really show like a whole run without spoiling it for others and things like that right there so um, you know I'll have like a lectern or something down there in the uh, main area for a scoreboard and then uh, lectern maybe over in the uh, shop area with our zombie villager so that you can uh, use your points uh, from your score and just kind of keep track of uh, you know you just can't spend more points than you have earned so the number inside the store should always be equal to or less than what's on the main scoreboard and that'll be a nice way to get a little bit of competition going with anybody that's interested as well. And, I, I mean, it's going to be free to run. And they can, they can do this as much as they want and as often as they want. Um, again, we still have a long ways to go. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a maze down here um, to get to this point. But, uh, you know, honestly... Uh, the real the real fun is going to be in uh, these three doors here depending upon the level of difficulty that you want to run when we get back over there we will be needing our beacon and of course we're going to want that full strength but uh, right now I believe uh, let's get uh, some of this extra stuff out of our inventory here I believe what I really want to do is in order to make some progress here and I mean that makes this like a bit of a buildy episode right um, <laughs> we've got a whole labyrinth out there done but uh, I, I think I want to come up here and let's break into here I think uh, I want to take this up it, little bit higher or at least um, you know as high as we can and uh, with what materials we got and then at least we will know what how much more we still need in order to get up to the world height that uh, we're gonna go to for the to cap this thing off so that we can get a big chunk of our one chunk base done as well 
So let's get to rolling on that. make it to 216 which actually put us above the clouds as you can see back there behind me so I have a I actually have a lot more materials but uh, time to work on it um, and be able to get this video out is definitely running out uh, I'm I may have to yeah you know, <laughs> figure something out about the uh, clouds cutting through the base but other than that I mean, we're making pretty good progress. I think we it only goes to 309 now or something like that. So less than 100 uh, Y levels to go. Um, pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about the amount of uh, materials we have. So I do think we have enough to get it done. And I've got this capped off so that uh, mobs can't get down in there too inside the base. But any that uh, fall off that wall now will definitely meet their demise without a problem. We won't have to worry about uh, getting slain by our bed or anything while we're AFKing or you know somebody coming to visit and uh, running into some kind of unexpected zombie or something when they're not paying attention and getting mauled to death. But. Uh, Oh, wondering trader I might have to go down there and check to see if he's got some propagules but uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode it was a bit a very buildy episode I know but we did make a lot of progress um, we got basically the the beginning makings of the horror labyrinth started I mean it's definitely not detailed in any way shape or form uh, and it has a long ways to go but we did get a nice good start on it and we made uh, some progress on the walls going up for our uh, one chunk base here. I mean, they're they're really going up there now, and we can get some room, more rooms built, and some more farms installed in this thing. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in our one chunk base, and uh, what you're most looking forward to with the horror labyrinth. Uh, now that you know a little bit more about it, and any ideas or inspiration for that right there would be great greatly appreciated as well I mean even though I know what I have planned those plans can always change and I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video we have uh, we're on our road to 500 subscribers so be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you're not already subscribe ring that bell so that you get notifications for future episodes and I'll see each and every one of you in the next video